everybody. I'm actually going to move that. So this video is going to be slightly different than um, some of the other videos, the food videos, because usually what I do is I, um, let me adjust the lighting. Usually what I do is I put all the ingredients in front of you, but since we're dealing with raw chicken and there's quite a bunch of other ingredients, I don't want cross-contamination, we're going to kind of take this as it goes. So all the ingredients will be in the description bar, but it's done in parts anyway, so it wouldn't make sense to take everything out and put everything back, I guess, whatever. Um, I was just trying to do what was more convenient for me. So right here I have two chicken breasts and um, they're pretty large but I've never come across small chicken breasts unless I'm in a restaurant then they're tiny as hell. So I have two uh, chicken breasts that I've cubed. Normally this recipe I think uses one but I like making I always make it with two um, and I've adapted this from a different recipe um, so I'm really excited about it. It's called hot garlic chicken. <laughs> and, um, or garlic chicken and hot garlic sauce like there's a lot of garlic involved so just so you know there's a lot of garlic involved moving forward anyway so this is two chicken breasts and I diced them up and then here I have a tablespoon of garlic powder a teaspoon of salt and a teaspoon of white pepper I'm just gonna mix it to swirl some swirling action and then you're just gonna put this on the chicken you can do a little at a time and then like massage it I don't, I, you've totally seen videos with this black glove on clearly not the same one I just buy like a big pack of like the disposable gloves um, without powder in them because that is just I don't want to get any of that kind of like weird powdery stuff on my food but yeah I don't like mixing raw meat <clears throat> so um, there's that and then like everything in the sink is raw ch is from the raw ch is touch the raw chicken so it'll all um get washed but yeah you want to try and mix this as thoroughly as possible because this is gonna marinate on your chicken and sometimes I think wet marinades are better because you know all the liquids getting everywhere but the dry marinade camera is acting weird I don't know where that cut off but anyway as I was saying the dry marinades can sometimes be harder because you have to um make sure it's not too much isn't sticking to one part so I kind of like massage it through and some of the pieces toward the end were kind of fatty so all I did was um I just trimmed some of the fat not all of it but some of it and like I said this is a healthier version because the other recipe you kind of dredge this in flour and then like deep fried it I'm not doing that I don't deep fry stuff I actually kind of went halfway in halfway out with the other recipe and I actually got the scar on my wrist because I actually did coat it in flour and then put it in oil but that is not gonna happen ever again so anyway so I'm gonna take this glove off and then I'm gonna put that in the fridge for at least a half an hour if you need more time that's fine but this will go in for about half an hour I'm gonna pull it out and then I'll show you all the other things that make up the sauce when we get back in a, at least 30 minutes okay this recipe has a lot I'm actually gonna try and point this down a little more has a lot going on for especially like the saucy part so let's just get to it uh, the chickens almost done it's been there for about a half an hour but I just want to get through all the rest of the ingredients you're gonna need for the uh, sauce so once we take the chicken out we're gonna put it in some oil about four to eight tablespoons um, if you do it in batches I'm probably not I'm sorry if it's late I'm lazy <laughs> you know whatever um, but yeah so I'm going to use about four tablespoons of that. We're using a big nonstick pan, so it's not going to be too bad. Um, then we have five tablespoons of ketchup, six tablespoons of minced garlic, two tablespoons of vinegar, that's rice vinegar, um, two, uh, I'm, I'm reading off of something, sorry, um, sorry, five teaspoons of soy sauce, uh, we're going to use two tablespoons of these scallion spring onions, sorry, four tablespoons of that. We're going to use two bell peppers, two red onions. I have some sugar snap peas here because I just had them. You don't got to use them, whatever. Um, then we have four tablespoons of chili paste. We have three tablespoons of cornstarch that I'm going to mix with half a cup of water when the time comes. I kind of wait to do this because sometimes the slurry will mix and then the cornstarch will sink to the bottom and then it's hard to remix it. Then we have got um, two tablespoons of dried cilantro. Um, you can use fresh if you want. I guess you could use 
um, about a tablespoon or maybe the same amount. I don't know. I only ever really use dried cilantro in this. And then we've got two chicken stock cubes with two cups of water. So we're going to go into the fridge because that's where the chicken's been. Duh. Um, I'm going to move this stuff uh, to a different part. Not all of it, just most of it to the side while we get that ready. And the um, bouillon cubes are actually heating up a little bit um, so that they can dissolve into the water and I can use that when I need to. So we'll be right back and I'll get the chicken out. So I put the oil and it's on. It's been on medium heat. Here's the chicken. I also have a plate that I'm transferring it to. And don't worry, we're not cooking it all the way. I also have some extra oil. You may need some more just in case. We can do this in batches. So I'm going to take about half of this and start putting it in. Uh, and you mostly want to cook the outside. And I didn't use a wooden spoon for obvious reasons, but you're going to separate it out, which will be easy because there's a lot of oil in here. Just cook it. And like I said, um, I think I did say this before, it'll shrink a little bit. And like I also use vegetable oil. Um, I don't use olive oil for this. And white pepper and all that other stuff. But if I didn't say those things, it'll, it should be in the video as well. So you're just going to keep mixing this and then you're going to cook it part way through. You also want it to get a little brown, not too, it doesn't have to get super brown, but a little brown. Um, the chicken will absorb some oil, of course. Um, this is on medium high and like I said, the, I'm dissolving the, um, the bouillon in the back for the sauce. So you can do those things simultaneously. You can do that before. If you have cans of chicken stock, you can also use that. I would use chicken stock, not vegetable stock, to add to that um, kind of chickeny flavor. So I'm going to just keep mixing this till it's about halfway cooked. Then I'm going to add it to this plate and then add the second batch in. Then I'll bring you back for the next step. I'm filming, sweetheart. <laughs> Sorry, that's my baby. So the chicken's done. Um, it's not fully cooked like I said before. But it's cooked enough and it's nice and brown. Oh, it's so pretty. And then the bouillon in the back is all heated up and the cubes have dissolved. So I actually didn't have to add more than the four tablespoons of oil. And there's actually just enough oil because the chicken will still absorb a little oil, but that's fine. There's just enough for me to add the garlic. And I'm going to brown it just a little bit. So this only will take a minute or so, but I wanted to get a different spoon um, for the garlic than I did for the, um, and it'll be a little harder to tell since this is from the, the like the minced jar, but it's fine. You just want to brown this a little bit. It's like when you can start to smell the garlic, then we're going to add the um, um, the scallion, the bell pepper, the red onion, and the snow peas. So I'm going to let that brown for just a moment. Actually, it's pretty brown now. One second. Yeah, and I can smell the garlic. So now we will add all the other ingredients. So since we're not adding all of the um, scallion, you're just going to like break a chunk off. I just, what I do is I buy a lot of scallion and then I, I freeze it. I chop it up myself and then I freeze it. So there's that. I just put them in these like freezer bags and they're usually fine. The bell pepper, these are two bell peppers. Um, and yeah, since they're frozen, of course, it'll take longer. And you pretty much just want the red onion to soften. And then the sugar snaps. I'm actually going to sprinkle them in to be fancy. My fancy ass, my fancy all, my fancy peeps. 
Yeah, I just had these left over because sometimes I like raw vegetables and I'll dip it in something. Um, but I had like a lot left over. Um, so I was like, oh, put it in here. So we just want, like I said, the onions to soften. Gonna put a lid on this. This is on medium now. Sorry, I should have said that. I turned it down to medium. So we're gonna cook this on medium till the onions soften. Should probably take about five minutes, but we'll see. Okay, so this has been softened. This was cooking for about five, yeah, about five minutes. And now the next step, I'm gonna get a, um, what's that called? Uh, one of these spatula out. And now we're gonna add everything to this except remember this except for the chicken and the cornstarch slurry so we, like i said we haven't made the slurry yet but we will so we're gonna add the cilantro leaves we're gonna add the sugar the soy sauce the vinegar the um chili paste you can use different kinds, so like you can. One of my favorites is a garlic. Um, it's a garlic chili paste, but I didn't have that. Um, you can use gochujang, which is a Korean chili paste. This is the ketchup, and yes, the recipe that it's funny the original recipe I found that this is based off said ketchup, and when I use ketchup, it came out really well. Um, and then funny enough, this ketchup is actually like organic. And it was actually cheaper than the ketchup anywhere else. So anyway, and then the the stock we made using the bouillon cubes. So I'm going to mix this around. I'm just trying to get all the sauce off of the spatula. So we're going to mix this around. And then we're going to let this come to a boil. And then we're going to let that boil... This is, again, still on medium. Let that boil hmm, about five minutes. So I'm going to put the lid back on. Let all this come to a boil. I just want to make sure everything is um, mixed in. Like, you don't want any globs of ketchup or anything on the bottom because they will burn. And then, yeah, you don't want that to happen. I love how vibrant green those snap peas are because usually the dish doesn't have the sugar snap peas. So it would just look, all, look very different. But I do think that's cute. So, yeah. I'm going to put the lid back on, bring this up to a boil, which would be easier because the, the stock was hot. And then we're going to, once it comes to a boil, let it boil for about five minutes. Here we are, me and you, you and me, you and I, us. So, it's been boiling for five minutes. I'm going to put the lid over here. And then we add the chicken. So we're going to actually do a couple things. We're going to add the chicken. Mix it around, mix it around. And the cilantro is hydrated pretty well. Again, that pop of green is just so uh, pretty because this sauce is usually just very red. Just a very red sauce. Put the chicken in. Then we're going to put the lid back on and cook this for 10 minutes. And while this is cooking, I'm just going to wash um, the other dishes and... The other thing we're going to do is add the half of cup of cold water to the cornstarch to make the slurry. So I didn't want to, like I said, I didn't want to do it, um, make sure it's cold water. I didn't want to do it beforehand because it does this weird thing where it separates and then it gets really firm and it's hard to remix. But um, now that this is in, this is easier to deal with. So lid on and now it'll finish cooking the chicken through. Set the timer for 10 minutes. And then I'm going to wash dishes and I'm also going to add the half a cup of cold water because we're going to have to mix the slurry um, once this is done cooking in 10 minutes. So I'll see you in 10 minutes. And here we are 10 minutes later. So by now the chicken's fully cooked. It's absorbed quite a bit of the sauce. And it is ready for Freddy. I wonder where that term comes from. I have no idea. I don't think I'll ever find out. I should Google it, but I'll forget by the time I'm done with this video. Anyway, so this is pretty thick now, as you can see, but we're going to make it even thicker because it'll be kind of thin once we put it on the rice. So, slurry is all mixed up. 
I actually did wash the dishes in the sink. I was really surprised at myself. Just pour it in. Get some water run on that. And then this is going to go till it's thickened. You don't, you can have the lid on for this or not. It doesn't matter. But like I said, remember, cold water. And this thickens up pretty quickly. And stir it. Like, not, you don't have to stir it constantly, but, you know, stir it to mix it through. And then let it go for about a minute or two. At least. But yeah, let it get thick. You know, see, look how, look how thick it's getting now. Before it was really, like, soupy. But it'll get thick on you real quick. But you also still want to make sure all of the soup. All of the cornstarch slurries mixed there. So I'm going to let this go for about two more minutes. No more than that. And then we'll come back. Um, I'm actually, no, I'm going to let it go for two minutes. Then I'm going to take a little piece. Let that cool down. And then we'll come back so we can do the tasting. In and back. So yeah, this has been resting for about five minutes. Um, after the two minutes I told you about. So I'm taking a piece of the chicken. A little bit of the... Sugar snap peas. Hmm. It's really good. This will be really nice over rice. And I like that the kick comes a little after. Mm hmm. You could probably even make this without the chicken, not gonna lie. This is vegetable broth. And like tofu or something. Or a lot of mushrooms. I have no idea. It was nice to add the crunchy snow peas though. Because it adds a different texture. And like I said, it's all cooked. So the chicken is... And then the chicken, the brownness of the chicken, even though it's not crunchy crunchy. That brownness adds a really nice amount of flavor. Let me taste this other piece of chicken. Mmm. Yeah, really happy with it. <clears throat> Hope you make this. I mean, I know it seems a little complicated, but it's not really hard to make. I've made it a couple times before, and it's a lot easier to make than it is to explain, I guess. <laughs> so I'll see y'all in the next video.